You can't tell. You can't tell me I didn't snap. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. As y'all can see from the title, I'm doing an install and style on this 6x6 closure wig that I made myself. I did a voiceover again so that I could explain to y'all perfectly and do my hair perfectly at the same time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the rest of the video. So before I started the video, I washed just the lace. I didn't wash the entire wig just to get the glue off of it from the first time I wore it. So I'm just going up the blow dryer and drying it. The part was still in there since I didn't wash the entire wig. So now I'm just going straight into laying the hair down, spraying some got to be glue spray on it because that's the key to success. If I was stranded in the woods and all I had was a comb and some got to be glue spray, baby, I would be laid still. And that's on period. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm just going into the front and using that spray to just mold it, mold the edges and lay it down how I want it to be laid. And I'm going and doing the, basically the exact same thing on the other side. I'm just brushing those edges up into that little hump, the little cute hump. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, a lot of people think it's weird, but I actually use edge control on my wig. So, I'm just going in with that edge control and putting it on the little baby hairs in the front. This dog on here it won't stay still. Even though this head is moving so much, doing pre-styling your wig on a wig head is so much easier. You can make sure the back of your hair is like perfect. Really your entire head. As y'all can see, I'm at look, speaking of the back of the head, I'm at the back of the head now. Making sure that's together. Cause when I used to do my hair on my head, I wouldn't put as much effort into the back as I do now. So after I sprayed the hair and laid it all down, I'm just flat ironing it. I didn't put too much of me flat ironing it in here because I'm pretty sure we all know how to do that. So now I'm done pressing the wig out. Okay, honey, stiff wear. So I'm just taking the Super Safe Press Powder and just putting it on the lace to make it closer to my skin color. Now I'm just slapping the wig on and adjusting it to where I want it to be. The way I made the wig, I made it so it wouldn't be a problem for me to wear it in the middle or wear it on the side. So it was really easy for me to just put the wig on and move it. I'm getting that hair out of the way, obviously, so it'll be easier for me to put the lace down. I'm just taking some Ghost Bond <laughs> and attempting to apply it. I squeezed out way too much, but it's okay. It looks like a whole lot of glue, but it's gonna dry down, I promise. A lot of people advise not applying the glue with your fingers, but I feel like as long as they're clean, you shouldn't have a problem. It works for me. I'm taking a Q-tip and a little alcohol just to get that glue off of that lace. 
you definitely want to get that off of there because when you stick it down it'll look white and nasty I'm steady talking come on girl and I'm just going in and blow drying it on a cool setting I eventually stopped using the blow dryer because people were trying to watch TV, so. Had to be considerate E and use the palette as a fan. Now I'm just going in on that end part where the ear is. Y'all know, if you wear wigs, you know the earpiece is always trying to do you dirty. So I had to put a little extra glue right there. Just go back to fan and that. This part is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just laying the lace down onto the glue. Just getting it all in there. And then I'm taking a Q-tip and some alcohol to remove the glue in the places it isn't supposed to be. And then I'm gonna go right back to just smoothing that lace into the glue. I like to lay my lace down one side at a time. It just makes everything so much easier, it makes it less messy, and it reassures you that both sides are tacked down. And I love these six by six closures. It gives you such a frontal look while also giving the other side of your edges a break. Cause the frontals have been snatching my edges, y'all. I'm just going back in with the ghost line wherever I missed it at. This rat tail comb sure does the job when it comes to just melting that lace into the glue. I'm still just melting that lace in and laying my baby hairs at the same time. <laughs> Look at me covering my armpits. I'm so eggy. Now I'm just doing exactly what I did during the styling part on the wig head and spraying that got to be glue spray on the edges to push it backwards or upwards, whatever direction. Now I'm going back in with the edge control. This is basically the wig head 2.0. This little baby hair on the side is so ugly and irrelevant. The next couple minutes will just be me picking at these baby hairs, going back and forth between the big comb and the little comb. For anybody struggling with their baby hairs, my best advice to you is to lay them how you want them off of your head on the wig head. And then when you put the wig on your head, just sculpt it based on how you laid it before. Cause doing it from scratch as a beginner can be super messy. So I promise this is the easiest way. Also, using your finger helps a lot. Don't be scared to touch him and be aggressive. Control the baby hair. Don't let it control you.
the wig is melted, honey. Comment below if y'all um do the bald cap method, like melting the cap to your head. Everybody has their opinion on how that will affect your wig, but I feel like mine still lays without me having to glue the cap to my head. So now I'm just gonna start going in with my flat iron and getting the hair all silky and straight. It's very important that you take your time and do this top area piece by piece so you can get it flat as possible. Believe it or not, everything I've been doing in the last segment of the video is really important. It's going to make the difference in your hair being, like, cute and your hair being the shit. Like, you really just want to get those flyaways gone. Make sure the wig is flat as possible. So when people see your hair, they're just going to be like, oh, my gosh. Like, you serving it. You're not just wearing it. You're serving it. Baby, this is a look. Okay, honey? Period. Okay, y'all. This is the finished product of my hair. Yes, niece. Look at yourself. Comment if you learned something new today. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. Who you know comment take they self in their own video? Yeah, I'll wait. I like the way you got it swerving. Big body kind of curvy. Can't nobody tell you nerdy. Girl, you kind of got me nervous. With big motherfucker. Slim motherfucker. Green next to him with some grits.